Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. On this quick tutorial, I will show you how you can fly quick approaches using any uh, general aviation not equipped with autopilot. So before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. That will help me a lot making new videos for you. Okay, first thing to do is to uh, select an aircraft that doesn't have any autopilot, obviously. So I choose the Robin Cap 10 today. Next, you want to select your departure airport. So I will select my home base airport, Geneva, runway 22. And today we have very bad weather condition here with snow. So I'm just going to use here a preset with few clouds and make sure we are flying during daylight so you can see better what steps are required. Then we are ready, so I'm going to click Start Flight. So the first thing to do as always, select an aircraft that is compatible with FSI panel. In that case, today we are doing general aviation without autopilot. Then select the airport where you want to train. And then the aircraft is loaded, as you can see now in the simulator. Click ready to fly. And the next step will be to select your training weight. Make sure you have enough fuel and then move ahead to FSI panel. So I will click on ready to fly. And as you can see, it looks like we have no fuel. So the first thing I will do here is add some fuel to my tank. And that's it. So now I have fuel. I can make sure I'm not dying my engine. So I will go about 1000 RPM. And that's all you need to do. So I have my aircraft loaded. I have fuel. I'm basically ready to train. One more thing you need to make sure in the toolbar is that the FSI panel in-game model is up and running. So you can see the icon right there, a level D simulator, click on it. And then you will get the message here, FSI panel status connecting. So now it's the good time to start FSI panel and to program our short final runway 22. And I will show you how easily you can be on short final. So let's, let's start FSI panel. All right, FSI panel starts. First thing you want to do, wait a few seconds and you should see general aviation in that case here, detected compatible aircraft. The next thing you want to check is that the correct airport has been detected. The correct runway is there. We're on runway 22. If you want to practice runway 04, feel free to change it. Today, I'm just going to stay on runway 22. The weather you see on top here is the actual live METAR. So as you can see, the weather is not very good, but we selected a uh, few clouds, so this is irrelevant. This is only relevant and important if you are flying with live weather, which I do most of the time. But for the tutorial, I'm using here a better weather so you can see what is happening. Next thing you want to do, you have many options on FSI panel, but I just, I'm just going to show you the short final option. So I'm selecting short final and you can see we should be at four nautical miles, 2,400 feet on the uh, runway 22 in Geneva. I click move aircraft. When we do that, then we just have to follow whatever FSI panel tells us to do. So let's do that. Move aircraft. A few seconds later, you will be in the cockpit of your captain. And now you can see the instruction here. Everything is ready. Set your power lever to at least 50% to start the approach. So the aircraft we are flying today doesn't have any autopilot. So you will see that FSI panel will put the aircraft at the right position, will freeze the altitude and the position to let you do whatever you want with the aircraft configuration. By default, FSI panel will retract the flaps. So we are flaps up now and I can now start moving my thrust lever towards 50% slowly. And then the aircraft goes in the air. Here we are. So now, as you can see, I am at 2,400 feet. And if I try to descend, the aircraft stays at 2,400 feet. If I start to climb, same thing. If I turn, the aircraft is basically banking, but we are not moving. We are in front, a line on our runway. So now you can do whatever you want to your aircraft. You can slow down, add some flaps, lower the gear if the aircraft has some gear. Whatever you want to do right now, you are in position freeze. Once you are ready to take over the control, hold the brake for three seconds, one, two, and three and you get the message you have control safe landing and now as you can see if i descend my aircraft is descending if i turn i'm turning so now basically i can fly my approach as easy as that and you can fly anywhere you like very easy so that's what you have to do let's say now you want to be on a final for runway 04 the opposite so what i can do is bring fsi panel again into view I will select runway 04, short final, move aircraft. We go back to the simulator and off we go. Again, I'm in position freeze. 
Ready to fly, hold the brake, one, two, and three. And I'm on final runway 04 this time, fully configured, ready to land. As easy as that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's very short. It's just a quick tutorial. You can use that technique for any general aviation aircraft not equipped with an autopilot. If you have any question or comment, please drop it in the section down below. And as always, stay safe and I see you very soon for another video. Bye-bye.